Okay, welcome back to another episode of Adventures in Skyrim 2. 22, 22. Don't interrupt me, Lucian. Um, okay, so as you can just notice from Arya and Serana. I'm only supposed okay. to eat my enemies. They're kind of fucking lovely. Um, last episode was filled with getting some physics enabled armor and more appropriate armor and hair onto some of our followers. We still have a ways to go with Shirley. Um, but we got Serana decked out. Um, there's some improvements that we can make with Arya still and with Hotkata, who course isn't where we want her to be she's down there but although i have to say the force worn off it it kind of grows on you when it falls off them <laughs> all right but i also lied to you sorry when i said in the last episode that we were done because i did remember that speaking of hot kata um i didn't bother to get this either because physics wasn't working on their armor but now that it is there's one more armor set that we need to go get and I'm kind of going through the motions of doing this, um, just in case anyone who's watching wants to make their followers or make themselves look like any of these characters. And why wouldn't you? Um, so you're getting to see uh, where they are. I don't know if I like their swords following around me like that. It seems like the sword should automatically. Anyway, um, so on the Windhelm docks in the East Empire Company, which opens at eight o'clock, I believe, or ten, hopefully. Okay, good. Um, you all find what we're looking for, and it is very similar to that last one which is it's just sitting here in this random strange comet. I don't know why it's called that, it's very weird. But it has all this stuff, oh, it, oh yeah, and it has an awesome bow and arrows. Okay, yeah, plus a new hair choice. Oh, look at all this fun stuff, all right. Um, and the reason that I like this is it has this bow, which we can actually give to Arya right away. I mean, she has, she probably has a pretty good bow right now. Yes. Let's see what her bow looks like now compared to what we could give her. Got anything fun for me? Yeah. You betcha. You bet I do. All right. So right now she, uh, she has a Falmer bow. Oh, and it looks badassier than it is. So that's damage of 31. I'm going to give her this new bow that has a special effect attached to it. Oh, that's mine. Where's the bow that I just got? Oh, Amos's bow, all right, which has a damage of 54. <laughs> all right, but don't forget it's stolen too. So then we basically can never get arrested or all our followers lose all their shit. And to be honest, I lose my shit too when I, <laughs> when I get arrested every time I lose my shit. Um, so we're going to give that to her. And she's going to rather prefer that. And then also these frost flake arrows. So they have this cool special effect. I, I always read when I downloaded this mod. Time will tell. Yes, yes. Uh, let's see. Let's see if she's gonna use it. Boom. All right. See, since I don't ever use my, I'm gonna have all of them use special effect weapons. That's what I'm gonna do. What do you need? She's using, although her, she's using hers. It's pretty awesome, actually. I'm surprised that it looks so cool. What you got there? Well, I'm gonna see if what I'm about to give you is better because you got a pretty awesome weapon. Oh, it has damage of zero. Yeah, because that's a bug. We know, we know. But I'm gonna give her. Cause I'm not ever using this. I'm gonna switch it with her, and then at least all of my followers can have really awesome weapons. That says it's damn zero too, and it's not. All right, there we go. Let me know. Now she looks a little know. badass here. I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to be respectful of Shirley. I could put her into something hotter. <laughs> and it occurs to me from time to time, just so she fits in. 
But what actually I'm going to aim on doing is finding one more hottie patati, and then she's probably feeling a little uncomfortable. (laughs) Aren't we all? All right, so anyway, and then... Lucian. I am in a learning mood. Um, Do we have anything to do here? No. Although, why isn't... Oh, because I turned blood on the ice off. Because I knew I wasn't going to do that for a while. What did we decide we were going to do? Anyway, so I don't need to show you, but that now that armor set is available at the Forge too, but it's even harder to make than the other one I showed you last time. All right, but we got their hair working, their earrings working. They're all wearing... We have to do something about Hot Kata's feet. <laughs> Actually, her shoes would look better on her, because at least they're brown, right? Yeah, that's obvious. Well, obviously, I'm going to give you a hug, but I'm also going to take your brown matching if shoes. If I see one more Nord giving me a dirty look, I'm going to rip off their face and eat it in front of them. Okay, but I want yes? to talk to you. I want to take your brown feet. I don't know what I'm going to do about her shoes. So really, maybe I need to just make another pair? I don't know. I'm going to make you go barefoot for a while. That'll show you. All right, where's the... Yeah, because these are going to match her way better. I'm right behind you. I mean, or at least... I mean, obviously not better than, than her force worn boots, but... You know what I mean. What do you want me to carry? I want to take your force worn boots. And I want to give you these brown heels. Because I'm a creep. Oh, look, I look how that, like, get taller. Let's get going, then. <laughs> oh, that works way better for me. All right. So all we have to do is figure out something to throw her, throw in her, and then we'll at least be well on our way. All right. <laughs> Sad. I'm getting therapy, really. All right. So now we've got that figured out for a while. Let's get some stuff done. I mean, one of our things that we could do. Don't want to go to Foscar. Can't seem to do anything at the Nightcrawler Temple. Still can't do that until I actually have a house. For some reason. Oh, I get her. Oh, you know what? Did I? Oh, I have to tell this woman over here that I killed all those people. Do that. The Great Forest. Small. I'll have you know, the Great Forest is the most magnificent region of woodland this side of Kavach. That's Excuse me. Do you know anything about this house? See anyone enter or leave? Why are you asking? I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. I believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Evil rites and so forth. Surely, make yourself at home. Why is that? Do you need any help? Stender touches your mind. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, gosh. I mean, I guess I could add this to the list. I was actually just about to head on inside. Good to have someone watch my back. I guess we're doing this. Follow me and keep your eyes open. They draw powerful creatures and tricksters. Never know what you're What were you saying? I was distracted by Hiroki. Okay, so I guess we're doing this right away here. I don't think it's any more difficult than just going in and I can't remember. Let's see. No wood rot on the furniture. Someone's been here recently, but the people I ask say no one enters or leaves. Can you not get around my gang? (laughs) So I wonder why they're all carrying their... My weapons disappear, but none of theirs do. Uh, all right. That's it. Something's inside the house. Come on, we'll get to the bottom of this. So I kind of like seeing all their weapons, all right? Because they're pretty cool. That bow is really cool. There's another door. See if you can get it open. Don't tell me what to do. Stendar's mercy. This isn't an ordinary table. We have to get help. Weak. He's weak. You're strong. Crush him. Don't tell me that. So, I think... God, can you imagine playing this without the... That's what it would be without my lantern. That's insane. This is even almost too dark to navigate. 
is pretty cool though. Oh uh, yeah, Serrano is looking pretty good in the dark. You say Come on, fire. let's go. We're getting out of here now. I think this is locked. Yeah. So then I just have to annihilate this guy. Do I have? Oh, good. I gotta try my two blades. Oh. Wow, I liked. Yes. I like that. Your reward is waiting for you, mortal. Further down. God, I put something. Now all everything just says zero in my inventory from the new changes I made. Wow, I really, I really fucked up the inventory. But you know what? For all the eye candy I just added, pun intended. I'm willing to put up with that. <laughs> I have to say. Yes, further into the bowels. Gross. It seems like, <laughs> did you just say bowels? Why am I lost? Oh. So close, your prize is waiting. Fool, did you think Molek Baal, the Lord of Domination, would so easily reward you? What do you see from that little cage? Speak. It's an altar, a mace. It's rusted. Rusted, dry. There was a time when this mace draped with the blood of the feeble and the worthless. But a Daedric Lord has his enemies. And my rival, Boethia, had her priest desecrated, left it here to decay, until you came. You want revenge on Boethia? I never wanted to help you. Let me go. Revenge? No. I want submission. I want the well, I, who doesn't? <laughs> to bend his I don't know if I'm in favor of some of this stuff. Uh, Alright, well, <laughs> I'm trying to accept everybody, no matter how vile. I can trust a lot of people here either. Put it surely, sir. She probably isn't too happy with this. Alright. He comes by. To perform Boethia's insulting rites at my altar, but he's been missing. I don't think captured I'm and bound. I'm keeping one hand on my sword, if you know what I mean. Save him. Let him perform what he's his made. right one more time. And when he does, we will be waiting for him. Okay. So, find the priest of Boethia. All the ladies left, except Granny. Grandma is brave as balls. She's like, I'm gonna stand here where it's safe. That bow's bigger than she is. It's hilarious. She's even, they're all, they're all hiding way back here. Like, girls! Girls, girls, girls. All I want are girls. Dum bum 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 bum. Girls. Dum 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 bum bum. All right. So yeah, now that all that's all stacked, it's cool. All right. Well, I wasn't quite planning on adding a new quest. I was trying to close off this one and at the same time see if that other follower is still here, which she is. 
See, I think at some point I can get her as a follower, and then I have an outfit for you, Mariah. <laughs> yeah? Oh, look. Well, I think I tried this before. I could. Huh, I wonder if I have... Oh, you know what? I could put those panties on her. <laughs> I knew there was a reason I was holding on to those. <laughs> Put them on. Seriously, that was that was bullshit. Was that seriously it? Well, yeah, but you didn't put them on, huh? This is one of the cities I wanted to visit the most. What could I do I mean, about that? Yes. All right, she's probably good right now. I can't do much with her anyway until she's a follower. But I'm pretty positive she becomes one. Um, that's not who I was trying to find, though. Hag's Cure. What the hell is that? They used to call this city the Chow Zell back in the weather. You're like me, eh? My own fancy looks lovely to honey. Hag's Cure. Interesting. I have no idea where that is. This city is so confusing. I think the Hag's Cure is up a really big or tall. Where's my floaty? It's not there. It's like somewhere even more annoying than this. Yeah. Inigo, yeah. Will you do something for me? Why do all these? You are doing that, Gun. Why? Animal thing on me, aren't you? I cannot resist. <laughs> oh, there it is. Was it showing up before I did that? Nope. See, turns off. Found a bug. But that's just like, that's not a bug, that's a feature. Well, what news? Is Elaine? Andy Dufresne is dead. Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. He is filled with hope. And I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this. As payment and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. My followers look so much better now that I added physics and stuff to their to their hair and out, you know, outfits. Woo! Can't get over how excited that makes me. I think Ari saw a wood elf. All right, so we closed off that. Now I think we can go hit. Um, The Dark Brotherhood. Oh no, you know what? I did remember. When I was editing here, I saw something that I missed when we blew through here and killed Dracula. Because it's really easy to miss it. It's easy to miss all of them. Of course, I'm talking about the Berezaya stones. So there is one at the top of here. So it's better if you grab it. When you're up here, then having to do this again. Oh, it's way easier when everyone's dead. <laughs> so do it before they come back alive. Thanks for waiting for me, Shirley. All right, it's up here. So this is where this other Arizaya stone is. This is right here on this table. There's also a key here, which probably would have come in handy when I was going through there. The unusual gem. I mean, one of the reasons I like trying to join the Thieves' Guild earlier rather than later is then I can get the markers for all of the bee stones so I don't have to go into some places twice because they're really easy to miss. Wow, Serana looks so good. I'm going to stop saying that soon, I hope. Right? But actually, I'm kind of proud of how well I'm finding these all on my own without those markers. I have seven of them, so, and there are a total of 24. So yeah, moving right along, and I haven't had to use the markers once. But yeah, I'm gonna need the markers. But anyway, that's why I like doing the Thieves Guild, is you can at least get 
that marker on so you don't have to go into some places twice. Because sometimes they're kind of in a real pain in the ass. You only want to have to do that dungeon once. So I actually might go try that now just to see if I can... I won't take any of the Thieves Guild quests except for that one so that I can get those markers on my map. So I think I did... Um, well, let's go to the Dark Brotherhood on the way. Flying transcontinental from LA to New York with a stop in Denver. LAX to JFK with a stop at DIA for those of you paying attention. Ah, oh, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I wager? Do I get to stay silent? Do I get to say anything? Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? Very well. I respect your discretion. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more... personal nature. That's my response? That's not my response. My response is... <laughs> it's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... well... Erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. You're paranoid. Oh, look. <laughs> now, see, that is a reasonable response. Uh... You must understand, if Cicero is turning the others against me, against us, our family would not survive such division. You never go against the family. Dear sister, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they never think to look. Like... Inside the Night Mother's coffin. A gross. Disrespectful. I mean, that's close to gross. A gross. Yes. I like the remain silent choice. No objections then? Good. Go now, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Okay. Gee, I think I don't have to do that right away, but I'm like right here. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about Go. Quickly. Hide in the coffin before Cicero and the traitor meet. See, I think it makes it sound like you have to do that right away. I think I could completely skip that, but it's like right here, so I will. Besides, I'm kind of interested in seeing what the Night Mother looks like, because I think it's modded. So I think she's either going to be grosser or cooler or neuter or all of the above. What if you can't pick this lock? What if? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll definitely get into the box with her. <laughs> Great, now I have to edit this. Jewel talk when you're ready, won't you? 
won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Oh, I can't see you, Cicero. Move a little over to your left. Speak, worm! The night mother spoke to me. She said, I am the one. She spoke <laughs> to you? More treachery. More treachery and deceit. You lie! The night mother speaks only to listen! And there is no listen! She, she said that. She said those words to you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tones. So How does Serana keep so thin? She does nothing but eat and drink all day. <laughs> or pretend to. And it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> oh, hail the listener. <laughs> All right. My citizens now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who is this all talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. Oh, I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no. She spoke only to her. To the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true, it's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you had been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you alright? I'm a little wet. You look like you've just seen a ghost. Please tell me you haven't. Cicero said he spoke to the Night Mother. But she spoke to you. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? By Sidis. And what did she say? Stop desecrating my tomb. <laughs> Amon Motier? I have no idea who that is. 
but fallen rune, that I have heard of, and I know where it is. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have sworn okay. to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. See, now I can't even, I can't even look at... Guess I have to face this way so I don't have too much YouTube problems. <laughs> Ugh. That's annoying too. Let me manage your outfit. Oh, I could put the sexy panties on him. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna be hilarious. Those are not sexy. Okay, nothing about that worked. <laughs> A gross. <laughs> All right, that was a nice try. Hi. All right, I'm going to try not to look at you too often. All right. Talking to Zir. Well, I was going to do that anyway. That old scene. Like, I have never I talked to or done anything for her. I do need to give her some shoes. She looks ridiculous walking around in bare feet. How can I help? Although I do have a little bit of a foot fetish. <laughs> I have an insert noun here fetish. <laughs> Just, just in a pinch. Don't you worry your pretty little head. I'm not going to stick you with those meat hooks too long. All right, actually, this is probably a good place to stop right here while Serana is having another meal. God. <laughs> She's like, I'm a loner. I'm going to sit over here on the bench. You must be talking about the caravan job. But really, a hoarder, some twine. Wood elf and a hatchet? Points of creativity, if nothing else. It's all thanks to a special technique I developed. I call it the razor wing butterfly. I teach it to, but then I have to kill it. Uh, it's not as impressive when you see him on autopilot. Of course, that's basically how guys talk to all girls. Access script A! <laughs> all right, so. Uh, we're going to go talk to that floaty thing uh, on the next episode. I think this one's running long. So see you next time. Be sure to come back soon. Whoa, boy. <laughs>